begin bhakti uttama bhakti and in continuation of this we have discussed discussed about explained about adho shabda tata sadhu sam ata bhajan kriya tato anartha nivritti tato nishtha and tata ruchi ruchi after now the subject which is coming very deep and very high but i want that you should have some uh, greed to know all this and to follow and if you have no greed or oh, you are bound to fall down the vishi and one cannot save it and i see everywhere that if they don't know this subject ashakti and bhav or they have no test and they must so many thousands coming and going coming and going so i want i have come for this purpose by the order of my shiksha guru and guru to give very powerful injections to you that they will give new life to you then we have discussed that there are two kinds of ruchi vastu by sist anapekshini and apekshini but it is still that vritti of krishna seva vritti is there shraddha is there nishtha is there ruchi is there they are not immersed they will be in their stage but even they will be transferred into ruchi asakti bhav prem sneh man what i told clear right not clear you clear what i told you understood not fully i told huh. हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण सो श्री गुरुदेव एक्सप्लेन जस्ट नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग इफ यू आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेरी हाई डीप सब्जेक्ट सो यू कैन आस्क दोस हु वांट टू नो अबाउट आदौ श्रद्धा तथा साधु संग इन अबाउट दिस श्लोक टुडे गुरुदेव वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी डीप थिंग आसक्ति 
Just like in the material world, Silo Kaviraj Goswami has explained, like sugar can, after that there is juice, after that transformation, molasses, then sugar. When sugar is there, there is no presence of sugar can or juice. But in the spiritual life, when you are doing bhajan, your shraddha is still there, the propensity to serve Krishna, that Krishna Seva Pasana is still there, and moreover, <coughs> bhajan kriya is there, sadhu sangha is there, steadiness also there, ruchi of taste also there, then when the taste will be matured, then it will transfer into asakti or attachment. But previous will be present there, still including in asakti. Anything to understand? You? What? So all the all the prior stages all also stages. present. All the Previous stages. Fully present in Asakti, not like exactly the example of the sugar cane juice where they have diminished. Like on. sugar cane juice. It can't be transferred into gourd. Gourd can be transferred into sugar. Sugar to be sitotpal. But a previously a stage will Go. But bhakti is transcendental. And all these stages of this bhakti are transcendental. They will be there in former form. But even transforming, transforming. Mm -hmm. Then, if that ruchi test is now paripakva, mature, then it will transfer in asakti. Asakti means attachment. attachment. Then you cannot be. Oh, uh, cannot you be without asakti? Always doing kirtan, smaran, and chanting, hearing hari katha, you will have more asakti. Without that, you will be mad. So this is very high class of. Hmm? These are of two kinds. Hmm? What? Taste in ruchi, uh, in sadhan bhajan and taste in bhajaniya, versatile. Hmm? Oh, without hearing hari katha, without chanting, without. Remembering. No one to tell that, oh, why you are not doing Always in it. How? Evang prata sapriya nama kritya jata anurago jita chutta vachyai hasotta thoro dati gayati nityati lokavaya. Always. They are mad. Like Sudha Goswami. Like others, Narada Goswami. Everywhere. What doing? Taking his bina. And what doing? Narada Muni Bajaya Bina Radhika Ramanana Narada Muni Bajaya Bina Radhika Ramanana Me Like this always. Radhika Raman, Radhika. If Krishna and Radhika will hear, oh, they will also be mad. <laughs> and for why? Oh, Krishna lips and Radhika lips where? Where the, his devotees are singing. Naam Tashtami Bhai Kunti. Naam Hirdecha Madhavakta Jatra Gayanti Tatra Tishtami Rara. If he will do like that, oh, Krishna is bound to come and to hear. So first in bhajan, and then what? And then bhajani who? Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu. His bhajani will come. It will be transferred. But, but yet so much uh, attachment in bhajan, always, and bhajani. And then what they will do? He Radhe Braja Devi Ke Chalalite He Nanda Suno Kuta 
पर दी बन्ने कुता घोषंतावित सर्वतो खेदई महाबिफलो बंदे रूप सनातनो रघुज गोसी जीव गोपा crying bitterly heart melting oh where is krishna where is krishna where is krishna where is radhika oh radhika where you are oh lalite vishakhe where you are like this they will be mad like rupshanatan rupnatha you know you can hear but your goal is this i am telling all these things that you should decide your goal without goal nothing is there so you should make very strongly this will so <coughs> this ashakti stage is very confidential and very gambhir okay my friend the pulled like he was like mad, mad always and what telling what radhika told ai din dayadranath mathura nath kada balokya se hridayam tada loka kataram daita bhramya dikhi o krishna o din dayat you are but embarrassment embodiment of mercy ocean of mercy but now i am feeling that you have gone to mathura and you are with oh the wives of young jhadvas and here radhika is with weeping and becoming mad oh if you will delay one day even on and we will return to vrindavan you will see that radhika is not there hmm? nothing is there please come ai din dayal na he mathura na Oh, you were Brajanath, but now what you have become? Mathurana. Mathurana. Please come to return back. Why? Why? So please, Gopi. No. What? Gopi are what telling? Oh, there is none to serve you like us. For service, they are weeping. Kadavalukka se hridayam. Oh, I am not seeing you. एडवांसिस हे कृष्ण हे चपल हे करुण क सिंधो हे हे दैत हे भुवन कबंधो हे कृष्ण हे चपल हे कर हे नाथ हे रमण नयना भिराम हा हा कदा कृष्ण you think over always what oh, how where i should marry where i should be sense gratifications and only this idea will come and when you will chanting and weeping like this oh this will go pain for i have invited you all for these things there some great should come i am not invited you all that you should come i will fix your marriage and i will do your marriage <laughs> never so don't come if this wish to oh, to select any boyfriend or girlfriend but i see this idea so try to give up and chant and remember i know that when you are in the home of your mother you have promise that when we will go to this land we will always chant nothing doing at all and what is becoming oh quite above it 
we are engaged in services, making, making money, sense, gratification, and so many things. So I have come to rem remind you all that for this purpose, Krishna has sent, not due to your past activities. Why? Your activities are not so that you should come as a human, but out of mercy, because he is ocean of mercy. He has given this form of human to all. Nothing to do any, anything else. Has Narada anything, any position, Sukadeva Goswami? Even not. No Langoti, nothing. Huh? Nothing, no, what? Anything for management after whom? After me, who will come in my Guru Parampara? Nothing, no arrangement, nothing, no management. So I request you to, oh what, develop your Krishna consciousness. For this I have invited you all. Jai Shri Guru I remember, I remember, what my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, in his last moment, he gave many, so many very, uh, strong injections that you should keep this injection and where needed you should give this powerful injection to all especially my dis my uh, disciples I'm very happy that all are coming and I will give it uh, without any cost without cost <laughs> always available to me you can come and we oh no no, no, no cost, no fee for injecting also. <laughs> Injection and everything. No? But don't fear. I see, the, oh, some are fearful for that. Oh, Maharaj will inject me. And he, and he will tell that you should be bolded here, save it. <laughs> So don't fear all at all. <laughs> now, uh, I told you two kinds of asana. Now you should have this goal. Anyhow, my goal is to obtain uh, uh, ruchi and asana. And if he will be matured on this, then all oh, very class of Shuddha Sattva, that is Bhava Arati will bound to come. It will come. Must come. And what is this? What is this? Only the mercy of Krishna or his associates or Srimati Radhika Harsha. That mood will come. There is no other means, no other way. They will come. There are two things to understand. That we have heard that in Swati Natcha, the constellation of Swati, rain comes, rain comes, and that water is goes in a banana tree, and it becomes comfort automatically in the head of elephants and it becomes mukta gajamukta what pulse pulse and if it goes in the hips of cows gorochana very pressure very costly thing and when it goes in the western cells and it becomes pulse very valuable more than Kahinur Hira and snake hood than Madi and bamboo bansalochan. No? So someone has idea that by association you can come by oh, in Dasharas, Santaras, Sakharas, Basalaras and Maduras. And it can be changed. 
But you should have a strong faith that they cannot be changed. What is in your constitutional form? There is something rush in your constitutional form. Either basha, sakha, basal, or mita. One of them, there must be something. But now it is covered with maya. I have to come to help you to remove that maya. So, there is something in the constitutional form of jivas. They have some many things, but not, not manifested. Not manifested. Like, by any example you can know, oh, there is Ganga Nadi, flowing very gently. Very powerful water, you know. And on this both sides of Ganges, very fertile land, very fertile land. So, you planted a oh, mango seed. Tethul vene? Tamarine. Oh, jackfruit. Or thorn tree, bubble, and so many trees. Same water is given, same air is there, same sun is giving light, some same gardener is watering. Everything is there, same. But why mango tree gets mango? Why bubble tree gets thorns? Why jackfruit like jackfruit? Why not coming the same thing in all seeds? So we are like, oh, like place, Ganges water, like all these things. And if, oh, so many kinds of devotees, devotees of Sakharas, Basalaras, Madhuras, you are in uh, you are in association of them and they are here making here your katha, Krishna katha. So fruit will not come in one way, like one, like mango, jackfruit, tamarind, tamarind and others coming from their own seeds. So we have something in your constitutional form, any of these five rushes. So. If there is a association or that sadhu is of dasyaras, up to dasyaras he can help. If a devotee, high degree, Mahabhagavat or Bhagavat, he is of sakharas, he can help you up to sakharas. He cannot help you in madhuras. And if any devotees of Maduras, he can help all. But in the end he will give what? What you have in your constitutional form. He cannot change. Never and never. So both is needed. One thing more to understand. This high class of Shuddha Swatva, we will define that what is uh, Shuddha Sattva. Coming through Shuddha Sattva, we will define that what is uh, Shuddha Sattva. Coming through home by uh, the devotees who are now matured and they have received Prem, Sneh, Man, Pranay in Golok Vrindavan. Krishna or Mahaprabhu, like Rup, Manjari, Rati Manjari, in the form of Rup Goswami Sanatana Goswami. This Suddhaswatta always in, in the concentration of form of oh, associates of Krishna Chandra Radhika. That is called, they are, they are called Rakatmik Jan. Rag, Ragatmik associates of 
Radha and Krishna. And from there, through devotees like Raganuga devotees, it will descend in the heart of devotees. What is Suddha Sattva, Paranda Maharaj? Come on here. Yes. This is in one line. Shuddha Sakka Visheshatma. Om Gyana Timarandhasya Gyana Dhanaslakaya Chakshuran Vilitam Jena Tasvai Sri Gurave Namah. I think you are, I am telling in very easy language. You are all this time. If not, then you can also. But all, all should hear very attentively. Don't give your mind here and there. Srila hmm. Gurudev ordered me to describe briefly the meaning of Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma. This phrase has come from the definition of Bhav Bhakti given by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma Prema Suryangsu Samyabhak Ruchibi Chitamasunya Kridaso Bhav Uchite. This is definition of Bhav Bhakti. What is Bhav Bhakti? It's not any kind of material emotion. If we want to know about Shuddha Sattva, we should understand the meaning of the word Sattva. Sattva means existence. This Sattva has different levels. There is Mishra, sat first we should know Sattva means existence. After this, Mishra Sattva, then Shuddha Sattva, Vishuddha Sattva. Hmm? So Sattva means existence and Mishra Sattva means when that existence is a manifestation of Sattva Raja and Tama. As we find in this world, the consciousness of all the Jivas is in, on the platform of Mishra Sattva because their consciousness is affected by the movements of Rajagun, Tamagun. Hmm? Gradually, as they rise up to Dharajas, Tamo Bhava, Kamalo Bhajaste, Chaitarita, Navidam, Stitam, Sattve, Prasiddhati, as they become free from lust and attachment, these things coming from Tama and Raja, they come to Sattva. That is the pure stage, uh, Shuddha Sattva, pure stage of existence, wherein the modes of material of nature are not manifest. Yet, in the stage of pure existence, there is no perception of the transcendental variety. So the platform in which Krishna, his pastimes, his associate, his transcendental form, qualities and everything is manifest. Sattvam vishuddham basudeva shabditam. Sattva alambe parasattva vishuddha sattva. Govindam adipurujam tamam bhajami. In Srimad Bhagavatam, in Brahma Sanghita, it is described that Krishna, his name, form, qualities, pastimes, his abode and all of his associates are of the quality of vishuddha sattva, supremely pure existence. In his commentary on Brahma Sanghita also, Srila Bhakti Nautako explains that pure existence which is possessed of form, of location, of activities is called Vishuddha Sattva, supremely pure existence. Therefore, this Bhava Bhakti is a phenomena which is of that nature, supremely pure existence. And it has function. In this pure existence, there are two Britis of the Swarup Shakti. One is called Samvit Briti and one is called Ladini Briti. Samvit Briti means the um, consciousness or awareness, sambandha gyan, knowledge of relation with Krishna. And Ladini Briti is Ananda, Ananda Shakti, joy. When the function of Samvit and Ladini, or Chit and Ananda, are combined together, this is called Bhakti Shakti. Essence of that. Mm. When the very essence of Samvit and Ladini are combined together, this is called Bhakti, or this is called Bhav. This finds its highest the manifestation where in the Mahabhav of Shimati Radhika. So she is the source of all types of love and affection. In the highest form it is in Radhika. Therefore it has been stated, Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma. 
This Bhav Bhakti is Vishesh, a special manifestation of the essence of the Samvit and Ladini. It is there in the heart of Raga Vikjan, especially Radhika and then all the other, all the associates of Radha and Krishna, beginning with Radhika, it is in them. And in them, it is blazing like a sun. But one tiny particle, one ray of their mood, when it descends through Guru Parampara into this world, Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma Prema Surya. Prema Surya means the son of Prem. But Bhav is what? Prema Surya Anksu. One small ray of that Ragatmic Prem descends to this world. Prema Surya Anksu Samya Bhak. And it is reflected into the heart of the Jiva here. When that touches him, then Ruchi Bi Chitamasrinya Kridaso Bhava Uchite. The heart of the living entity melts. Just as ice melts and becomes water, so in the same way, the living entity, his heart melts and becomes. How? And it becomes. Oh, three types of Ruchi. Here Rupa Goswami Padi is explaining. Ruchi Bi Chitamasrinya. What is that Ruchi? What is asking? What is that Ruchi? That Ruchi has been described. This taste comes in the form of three types of abhilas, three types of intense hankering. The first type is called Bhagwat Prapt Abhilas. The intense hankering to attain one's Ishtadev. Hmm? Hey Radhe hey Braja Devi K. Oh Shimati Radhika, where are you? Oh Sh the Krishna Chandra, where are you? Very intense hankering to attain them. But only to attain them is not enough. The heart will be melting with another intense desire that is called Anukul Abhilas. The intense hankering to render some service to them, which is very, very favorable. What they require at any particular time, which will give them so much happiness. Tambulapana Pada Madana Payodana Bisara Dibi Brindaranya Mayasarim Pratya Yashtoshantipya. Prana Prashta Saki Kilade Pikilas and Kochita Bumika Kelly Bumishu Rupa Mandri Mukasta Dasika Sangsre Raghunath Daska Swami Pad He prays I am taking shelter of Sri Rupa Mandri and those who are in her group Why? Because from them this Bhav Bhakti will come and then the desire Anukul Abhilas to render some very favorable service like Tambul Arpana preparing Tambul for Radha and Krishna Pada Madana massaging their lotus feet when they become fatigued Payo Dana Abhisara Dibi, bringing water, taking Radhika for Abhisar to meet with Krishna in a secret place in the forest. So this desire, Anukul Abhilas means the desire to render Anukul Seva. But, oh not enough, oh, more melting will come. What is that? That is That Ruchi is called So Hard Abhilas. It's not so hard to remember. <laughs> Try to remember this word. So Hard Abhilas. So hard has come in Sanskrit from the word surit. Surit means um, a friendship, very intimate and close friendship. Hmm? What Radhika may not tell to others, oh, may she tell to me and give me that service uh, that others will not see. So this is called so hard abhilas. Not enough to attain one's ishtadev, not enough only to serve, but to have a very intimate mood of uh, friendship, very close surit. Hearts are very close together. So when these three types of taste or three types of abilas, intense hankering, manifest from the heart, the heart melts and they come out. So by this verse, Srila Rupa Goswami has indicated two things. Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma, that the Vritti of Swarup Shakti will come down from the Nitya Parikas of Radha and Krishna. And when it touches your heart, your heart will melt and some uh, abilas will come out. So that is described in the second part of the verse, Ruchi Be Chita Masrinya. So what Srila Gurudev is describing about Swati Nakshatra, in other words, that some power is in the rain of Swati Nakshatra, and some power is also in the receptacles of the rain of Swati Nakshatra. So both of these points have been explained in this verse of Srila Rupa Goswami. That something will come from the Nitya Parikas of Radha and Krishna, and something is there in your heart which will come out on the touch of their mood. This is called Bhav Bhakti. Hearing this, some devotees 
they want that this mode shall come at once in me. And sometimes they want to expose all these things artificially. When it is come through that line that we explain, oh, then real thing will come. Real mood will come. But when that mood is not in you and you are exposing for others to see or for praise that they should know that I am in this system. If that your mood is not like that, and it has not come from the proper channel to ragatnik and then raganuga to you. And if it is not Visheshatma, then what will be you do? They will be called Sahajiya. So I want that you also that be Sahajiya. Always follow your adhikar, stay and do accordingly. Don't export. Don't try. What is coming naturally, then it is okay. With a dhanya, with tinatapi shlokas that fall, then it is okay. But if you will do artificially anything to show them, no, you will be sahajiya and after some time you will be visiya. So always be careful. There are some symptoms of pure this mood, bhav, and that what? Chantir, abhyakta kalatam, viraktir, manusunyata, asa bandha, samutkantha, nam gane, sadag, asakti, dada gunakhyane, priti tad vasatya stali, ityad bhava, sur bhava ankurajane. Even, even an ankur, a sprout of bhav is there in your heart. Then these symptoms will come. What? <coughs> and you should judge whether these symptoms are uh, <coughs> even in a smallest cut, autumn life, hmm, or not. And we are that a standard of bhakta. We are are not in sixty years, twenty years. Fifty years, or where we were, we are still there, full of honor. So try to. This sloki is like a barometer of bhakti. Go on. Om Ajnani Timirandasya Gyanan Janasalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guruve Namaha so Srila Gurudev <clears throat> is enlightening us about the characteristics and the qualities which are naturally exhibited by someone who has come to this stage of development in his bhakti, which is the stage of bhav. So <clears throat> Srila Rupa Goswami has written this verse uh, describing the eight different symptoms, nine, sorry, nine different symptoms uh, that one uh, experiences in this stage. And these, as Gurudev said, these symptoms are manifested naturally and automatically in someone. They are not artificially uh, displayed. So, <clears throat> first, he says, Kshantir avyarta kalatvam viraktir manashunyata. Kshantir means that he is constantly tolerate, completely tolerant of all conditions, nothing can shake him from his constant engagement in the service of Krishna. He is so spontaneously absorbed that any kind of adverse situation cannot shake him at all. So, kshantir, avyartakaladvam, next symptom. Like Prahlad Maharaj, Maridar Thakur. Hmm. He was bitten in 22 <coughs> markets. Prahlad was given poison and so many things. But they were steady. Like that. Shanti, always. Jayatma, Samprasiddhati. In any eh, situation. situation, oh, they will not be deviated from that. 
<clears throat> the next symptom, it tells that this Bhav Bhakta, he does not want to see that even one single moment of his time goes by without constantly in, uh, engaging in shravam, kirtam, smaram, bandhanam, padasevanam, fully absorbed in tasting and relishing the nectar of Krishna's nam, guna, rupa, lila. This is called avyarta kalatvam. He doesn't want to waste a single moment. Kshantir uh, avyarta kalatvam viraktir manashunyata. He is completely detached, virakti. He has no attachment to the sense objects of this world. They are completely dead to him. They have no life, no attraction at all. Hmm? Uh, viraktir man shunyata. Mm. What virakti more? Mm. Have we virakti detachment from sense gratification and worldly desire? Any of you? <coughs> then how that mood will come? <coughs> Be ready for this. And if you are not ready, bhakti is so far away. <coughs> so try first all these things. Your whole attachment should be given to Krishna. Nowhere else. Or Guru. Or any devotee. We like this. No sense gratifications. No worldly attachment. He had no time to think about them then this mood is there, otherwise not. Very clearly you should think about this. I call for these things, that remember, and if there is anything, oh, I have a sword that my Guru Dev has given and Swamiji, I will give you that sword and you should cut all your attachment. <laughs> So the next symptom, uh, mana shunyata. Uh, mana shunyata means that he is completely devoid of any desire for praise uh, and adoration and distinction coming to him from other persons. Just like the verse of Shikshashtakam, which Srila Gurudev quoted, Tridadapi sunichena, Torodapi sahishnuna, Amanina. Manadena kirtaniya sadahari. So here the devotee has uh, amanina. He doesn't desire any kind of respect or praise from anyone. His heart is devoid of this desire. Uh, and on the contrary, uh, <coughs> manadena. He's always giving appropriate respect to all others, seeing that Krishna is residing within their heart. So in the stage of bhav, this quality automatically manifests there. And he has the deepest type of humility, natural humility displayed. Viraktir mana shunyata. Asha bandha samut kanta. Asha bandha means that he has an unbreakable hope, asha, that Krishna will bestow his causeless mercy upon him. This hope is constantly there within his heart. And he knows that Krishna is a causeless ocean of mercy, Karuna Sindhu, and that he is always giving his mercy to all the souls who are fallen within this world. So the Bhav Bhakta is constantly praying for the mercy of Krishna, Asha Bandha, Samutkanta. That, oh Krishna, I, will, I must attend Krishna love. I have hope. You should think like that. That after some time, from my southern, in this human life, we will attain that love, which is very high, very high. Must I will, because our Guru Varga oh, and others, they have attained this. So why not myself? So I must achieve this hope and more. Asha Bandha Sumut Kanta. Sumut Kanta means that he has a very intense eagerness. Constantly he's uh, desiring that this perfectional stage will be attained by him. 
Sumutkanta. He's always praying, offering so many prayers from the core of his heart that this stage can be attained by him and he can serve Krishna with prem. So that is the uh, six symptom, Sumutkanta. No, more than this. <coughs> he thinks, when? When it will come? When it will come? Always hankering. This is Sumutkanta. When it will come in me? Oh, still I have done nothing. But when it will come? And he will exercise all bhakti, limbs, always, and weeping. This is called Sumutkanta. Oh, I must attend and it will come in due time. <coughs> so I should be idle, unsleeping. Oh, this is not. So Samutkanta. Namagane? Uh, Namagane Sada Ruchi. So yesterday we talked about the stage of Ruchi, of taste, that the devotee is constantly desiring to taste and relish the nectar of Krishna's name, form, qualities, pastimes. So, he, this is the symptom in the stage of Bhav that Nam Gane Sadaruchi. He always wants to be chanting constantly, 24 hours daily. He wants to be chanting and remembering the holy names of Krishna. His tongue does not want to stop chanting for a single moment. So that is called Nam Gani Sada Ruchi. Always he has Ruchi and taste for the holy name. Then Asaktis Tad Gunakyani. Uh, this means that he has deep, deep attachment for describing uh, all the wonderful qualities, Gunakyani, the qualities of Krishna. Uh, just like described in Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, that Krishna has 64 transcendental qualities that are manifested in unlimited degrees. So the devotee is very attached to describing these qualities and the transcendental beautiful form and pastimes of Krishna. Asaktis tad gunakyane, pritis tad vasati stale. And the devotee has priti, deep love and affection for all the places where Krishna lived uh, when he manifested his pastimes here within this material world, in the Prakat Dham, in Gokul Dham, how he manifested his divine abode here. So just like the Goswamis and Srila Gurudev described, that they were constantly going here and there in Braj, He Radhe Vrajadevike, Chalalite He Nanda Suno Kutaha, Sri Govardhana Kalpapada Patale, Kalindi Vane Kutaha, <coughs> O Krishna, O Radhe, Oh, where are you? Are you on the bank of the Jamuna now? And they go to the bank of the Jamuna searching, searching for Radha and Krishna. Everywhere in Braj they're going to the places where Krishna performed his leelas, Govardhan, going to uh, Varshana Dham, and all the different places in Braj Mandala, or Navadweep Dham. So in this way, the devotee has very deep attachment and affection for all these places where Krishna performed his pastimes. But still, the highest place is Vrindavan. And in Vrindavan, Govardhan more. And in Govardhan, Shamkun and Radhakun. And moreover, Krishna always liked to be with his most beloved Srimati Radhika in Radha Kunda. So we should try that, O oh Krishna, O oh Radhika, when you will fulfill my wish, that I will always on the bank of Radha Kunda. Radha Kunda is not uh, anything else from Srimati Radhika Harsha. No difference at all. In some cases, Oh, Radhika, Radha Kund is more superior. superior than Radhika. We can go and see and take bath, pray there. But where to find to Radhika? Like Krishna has made his whole, he has infested his whole power, whole mercy, beauty, and all pastimes in Name. the names. So name are more powerful than and merciful. Krishna. So we should try to know, this is the highest. There, oh, when uh, my fortune will be, I, I will be most fortunate to be there. If not by bodily, body, oh, then by mind you should try to be there. 
that these are the eight, nine, oh, what? Anubhava means lush, lakshan. Symptoms of. But so many things are to know. I will explain how to attend. But in the meantime, oh, you should have a refreshment <laughs> and taste a kirtan. Oh, you should. Oh, at once, at once, without it. Now you are searching box. <laughs> and also, oh, uh, Radhakan Prabhu and Nishan Prabhu, they should be ready. About this? What? Gurudev, an Australian devotee who's listening to our webcast is asking a question. The question is from Subol Krishna Das Prabhu. He says, Naturally we have this desire for marriage or material arrangement. Although we want to attain experience of what Srila Gurudev is describing about Krishna consciousness. What can we do? Oh, naturally we have no. <laughs> never, never. They are wrong. This comes from where? From the love of Radha and Krishna. Love, actually this is. And we are servant of Radha and Krishna, made servant. So there is this. But you know that reflection, perverted reflection, oh, quite opposite. So in opposite it seems that naturally we are pleased. But it is quite wrong. Understand? Now? Yes, sir. 